Okie dokie. In this problem, we'll be using the same method to uh, solve for y and then solve for c. But now, they're asking just one more extra step of us. And that is, once we find y and once we solve for c, say it's like 4 or something, uh, then basically, once we have this finished solution, this finished function, y equals something, we will plug in 1 for t and find the answer. So, first things first, we want to isolate the y prime on the left side. So, we'll go ahead and add this whole term e to the t, t times y to the right side. And we'll go ahead and divide by t on both sides. That'll actually cancel a t out from both sides. And we will be left with y prime or dy over dt equals e to the t times y. We'll go ahead and multiply by 1 over y on both sides in order to cancel the y that was here on the right side. And we'll go ahead and multiply the dt to the right side. So we have successfully separated the variables on left and right sides of the equation. Now we want to integrate both sides, giving us natural log of absolute value of y. And then the integral, the antiderivative of e to the t, is just e to the t. And then we add plus c. We'll go ahead and make e the base of both sides in order to get y by itself. We'll go ahead and do our trick with c. We'll throw it out in front. And so now we will have e, or sorry, c e to the e to the t. Pretty fun. All right, let's see what's next. We have the condition that is, I guess it's not an initial condition, but it's some, uh, you know, pair, ordered pair for t and y. So t is 3 over 2, and y is 1. So we're going to plug those values in respectively. So 1 is y, and then we have c, e, raised to the e, to the 3 over 2 for our t value. All right, so basically what we're going to do is solve for c by dividing by whatever this equals. So what I might do, actually, let's go ahead and calculate what e raised to the e raised to the, what was it, 3 over 2 is. So let's, all right, so we have e to the e to the 3 over 2. So we get 88.38. So 88.38. <clears throat> so we want to divide 1 by 88.38, and we get 0 0.011 equals C. So we have our C value. Let's go ahead and plug that back in to our general function we found. All right, so we have our function y equals. So now we want to find y of 1. So we'll plug in 1 for t. And this is what we will plug in to Desmos or Excel, whatever calculator you have accessible to you. If you are using, you know, pcalc, say on a quiz or whatever, I might recommend working your way from the exponent outward. So starting with e to the first, and then find that as a decimal, and then do e raised to that, and then multiply it by 0 0.011. But in Desmos, I'm just going to plug it all in at once. So we'll have 0 0.011 e to the e to the, what, 1? I think it, it probably won't change it if it's the m. Okay, so do we have... 0.167 as an answer choice. My guess is maybe 0.2. Pick the closest. Yeah, look at that. Okay. So, sort of a weird one, but hopefully the process makes sense. Nothing too different from what we've done 
already. Let's go ahead and do two more examples if we have time in this video. So solving for y prime, isolating y prime, we will subtract this term. So we'll have t squared over t squared plus 1 y. And this should be negative since we subtracted this to the right side. And now let's go ahead and divide by t on both sides. And simultaneously, let's rewrite y prime as dy over dt. So we're dividing by t or multiplying by 1 over t on both sides. When we do this on the, on the right side, uh, we have a t squared basically up top and a t on the bottom. So we can actually cancel t on the bottom with one of them on top, one of the t's on top, leaving us with negative t over t squared plus 1 times y equals dy over dt. So now let's bring that y over like we usually do. So 1 over y and multiply the dt to the right side. So we have the y's and t's separated, and now we want to integrate both sides. Same old natural log of y on the left, absolute value of y, I suppose. And then over here, we have kind of a stranger uh, function than we usually have to integrate. So let's talk about this. Uh, it's really just a u substitution. So if you wanted to call u t squared plus 1, its derivative would be 2t dt, and so du over 2t equals dt. So we can rewrite this integral as negative t over u times dt, but we can substitute in place of dt du over 2t. This comes directly from whichever previous section that used uh, u substitution. So feel free to reference those previous problems and videos if you have no idea what I'm doing right now. Uh, so this is u substitution. So we uh, have rewritten things mostly in terms of u and du, but now we still have to cancel a t from the top, t from the bottom. We gather our coefficients. We have a negative on top, basically a negative one on top and a 2 on the bottom. So rewriting this whole shebang, we have negative 1 over 2, 1 over u, du. So the main integral, the main antiderivative we are finding is of 1 over u. So really just ln of u and we keep that coefficient out in front. And so it's not just ln of u, now if we plug in u back in terms of t, we get ln of absolute value t squared plus 1, and don't forget to add c. All right, we're rolling here. Let's solve for y by making e the base of both sides. And we get y is equal to the negative 1 half ln of t squared plus 1. And we'll go ahead and call this c out in front. We'll, you know, rewrite that plus c like so. All right, so we have y equals this. Now we want to plug in our t and y pair. They're both 1 in this case. So we're plugging in 1 for t, 1 for y. Let me move this down. Sorry about this. All right. So plugging in 1 for t, 1 for y, we get 1 equals ce to the negative 1 half ln of 1 squared plus 1. 1 squared plus 1 is just 1 plus 1 or 2. So we have this. Let's go ahead and calculate what this equals and then what this equals. So We'll just do it all at once in Desmos. We'll do e to the... Go ahead and do the split screen just to... Whoops. Oh, boy. All right. I regret trying that. Uh, give me just a sec. <laughs> Jesus. All right. 
So we are going to do the split screen with Desmos so we can plug in this e to the negative one half natural log of two. All right, and that gives us 0 0.707. And now we want to take that and divide it to the other side. So dividing by 0.707, since all this stuff in parentheses equaled 0.707. One divided by 0.707 gives us 1.41. One. All right. So we have 1.41 for our C value. Now, we want to plug that back in to our general solution here. 1.41. Now, we want to plug in 1 half for T and calculate the Y value. So plugging in 1 half for T uh, will look like this. So let's go ahead and calculate this. All right, so we have kind of a good setup to start with here. So e to the negative one half ln of, and we'll go ahead and replace the inside with one over two, one half squared plus one. And I think that's it, just scanning through it. We just want to tack on a 1.41 out in front and we get 1.26 as a result. All right, that looks like 1.3. All right, I hope this helps. I'll go ahead and call it there. If you have any questions, please let me know.